Hey, what's up? If you didn't see the last review, the last review was Titanium Man. Right now we're going to do Iron Monger, the one that opens up. Yeah, look at that bad boy. Oh, with the opening cockpit. Yep. First and foremost, they did a lot of changes. Um, I saw the other Iron Monger, the one that I have over here, which is the one with the squeeze, it's a squeeze and smash or whatever it's called. Um, the difference is, when I bought it, he had a red center, red eyes. See that? <clears throat> On the box. Red center, red eyes. Right? Chest that comes off. Red eyes, whatever. Who the hell is that? That was like Regis Philbin? Oh, uh, that uh, was Iron Monger? Um... Now, actually, they got it right. <clears throat> Even though this still on the box is red. The eyes are red. Because when I saw the movie, I was like, oh, man, his eyes are going to be red. Like, you know, and, uh, and Iron Man's eyes are blue. No. No, it wasn't. But they changed it. Um, Like I said, you're not going to be fighting uh, whoever that guy is. Um... Some guy with hair. Obviously, if you've seen Iron Iron Man, the guy who was Iron Monger was did not have any hair. He was bald. He had a beard. Um, <clears throat> kind of looks like a uh, Bobby Hill from uh, King of the Hill. From for some reason that it, it reminds me of that. But I'm not, you know, I'm not dogging the uh, figure itself. I I actually wanted this figure for a while, and I got it because I think it looks cool. But those are the first um, changes that I noticed. Even though the box still has the same picture. I mean, whatever. Like, as long as they fix the figure, when I got it, it's good. Because I could have this one, which uh, is red. And I got the one that they modified, which is blue, with, like, the guy that they're supposed to have. Because the guy in the box, obviously, was not the guy in the movie. But, I don't have the old the old version so I don't know if he if he looks that way um so if you've seen other reviews of it or you have the figure I mean you know if he looks if he looks like the guy with hair or the guy with you know from the movie let me know because I don't even know what okay now I'll take this bad boy up take him out cost twelve ninety nine other places cost cheaper nine ninety nine KB Toys Puts their prices up because they have more toys sometimes. Um, let's do the weight test. A little bit heavier. A little bit heavier. Maybe because it's in the box or I don't know. It feels a little bit heavier. <clears throat> it comes all like that. The head. The chest piece. The actual figure. So like I said, I don't know what you think. If you think that guy looks like Bobby Hill, I think it does. Um, so yeah. He's bald. He's bald in this. And his head goes in. So I don't know if you remember uh, Ninja Turtles where he's like, I love being a turtle. Every time I see figures like that, that's what it reminds me of. I don't know. That's just me. Good movie. If you haven't seen Ninja Turtles, the not the computer prize one, but the original one back in the day. One of the also um, noticeable differences, color. Yep, this one's gray. Like in the movie, he was more gray, I guess. Uh, they fixed that color problem. The lights, like I said. These lights, this one. And these on the side are red. As opposed to these are blue. And of course, it's blue right here, but it's taking a while to come. And it's blue right here. One other thing that I noticed that when people saw it, they are like, oh, that sucks. I wasn't the only one, so. See how the center is reflective? It looks like one of those things that you put on your bike or something or that's already on your bike. And this looks like it's just a sticker. You know? <clears throat> That'd be kind of cool if it had that, you know. That's actually cooler. But, hey. I'm just glad they fixed the color. And don't have, you know, some different guy in there. Like, you know, 
It's like, who's that guy in uh, Iron Monger? Oh, it's my Uncle Larry. You know, he, t he took it for a test drive. Never decided to put it back. Um, yeah, so... That stays on there. And unlike the, uh... Uh, Tony Stark Iron Man, where, you know, you can take it off. But, like, you can take it off, but you have to do that stuff. Okay. And then you put that on top of here. Oh, this thing flies off. There we go. Clips on. You gotta kind of force it in there till like, it's closed in there. And that's together. But, let's see. One thing that kind of sucks, his head doesn't move. And this one, his head does move. Um, other thing, and this one you squeeze his legs to move, so one of the legs don't go up, and this one does, but it goes to the side. This one, leg goes to the side, legs goes to the side, so they do, which is one of the reasons I wanted to get it. Different color, uh, different thing. They did not fix the, uh, where his, uh, Gatling gun doesn't rotate, but, you know, you can use your imagination for that one, kids. Um... Hands move, and the other one, it moves to, um, yeah, you can go like that, so, you can, you can put his hands down, or move them around and stuff, so it opens like that, that's kind of cool, so you know you got it in when it could do this, I'm gonna put it, when you can put it like that, and it could come off, but it doesn't, you know, because my friend has one like this that he bought with me, and it kind of, does it, there, like, there's a little, like, half a circle in there, like a, it's like a hook you just hook it in there and then you know after that it'll work of course the head goes down so that's why it goes like that you know since the head already goes down and there's a little hole up here I don't know if you can see that there's a little hole up here and you want to get this in here so this actually took me a little while to to figure it out but I thought you know maybe I could try to make that go in there or maybe go over it but actually, this little thing that sticks out has to go in the hole, and it snaps on perfectly. So if you're having trouble, that's probably the thing. Um, once you snap that in there, usually you just push the back down, and it goes right in right away. The little hook thing. But the hook thing you want to get in there, so it like you know it could stay on when you open it. You know you open it, and then of course that stays on there. Do that thing, and you could be like, you know, how he does in the movie, Tony. Blah, 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 blah. You know. Like in the movie. But actually, I really like this figure. It's actually a really good figure. But like, if you know, it's kind of the same as a Mark II color. Let's see. Let's put the height test. Yeah, same height. Same height. And like, if you have this one, you can notice like even the back. There's more detail in this one. Like, at least to me, I noticed like more detail. You know, looks more detailed maybe because of paint, and also things stick uh, seem to stick out a little bit more. The shoulder pads look a little bit more detailed. You know, it looks a little rough around that. Just this on the other hand, you know. So like I said, this if you had a chance to get this one, go get it. And then see you guys later. Hope you enjoyed it.